Hey guys, Miguel from Squad here, ready to talk about what's coming up in Update 25. Let's start with the new difficulty panel. In here, you can pick between 4 presets. Easy, Normal, Moderate or Hard. You can also make your own with the Custom button. Next up, the Space Center. I know you want to see what the administration building does, right? But before we get to that, you see that little icon by the runway? That's a new Space Center marker. Makes it really easy to pick up any craft you sorta dropped around KSE either for easy retrieval or to fly away in it. Very useful for utility craft and all sorts of projects. Now then, onwards to the administration building. Meet the administrators, each one with their own area of power and expertise. They are all in charge of strategies, a new game mechanic that we've added to help you further customize your career mode playthrough. These are passive effects which deeply affect how your space program runs. Let's look at Mortimer's fundraising campaign. He proposes that we use the reputation gained by achievements of our space program in order to raise more funds for our endeavors. Down at the bottom you can see our commitment level to the strategy. In this career mode save, my reputation isn't going so well, so I can't take it to 100%. Setup costs can get really expensive. But that's enough of that, space plane time! New space plane parts, a modified version of the space plane plus mod to be precise. This is one of the new stock vessels. This part here may look like a fuselage, but after right-clicking it, it reveals its true purpose. A functional cargo bay. This one is very much a personnel carrier, filled with command seats that you can just fill up with a hefty crew. Cargo bays aren't just for that though, you're free to use them for anything you want. Boosters, satellites, snacks, your choice. Now, building with cargo bays can get tricky, especially with parts that love surface attachments. In those cases, all you need to do is use our new key binding. Hold down Alt while building turns off every surface attachment, meaning you only need to point a piece at a node, rotate it to the right position, and that was not the right position. Oh well, let's go to space anyways. Let's set up a maneuver node. As we do, please notice the small blue arrow that has popped up on our navel. That's the maneuver position marker. It moves dynamically as your ship turns, and following it will always bring you to the correct position for your next maneuver. We also added every vector to our navel. This should make flying more intuitive and overall more fun. Let's move to small and cool features then. A terrible high rise stands before us. As everything in KSP, it's also a rocket. You're probably familiar with the usual throttle control solutions, but we've added a key, Z, to make you hit the 100% marker right away. Complements the key to cut all thrust rather well. All of our carables are crammed into one path and that just won't stand. Clicking on a hatch gives you a brand new option, crew transfer. Selecting a caravan for transfer will flag it to move to the next crew capable part you click. Here we've moved our brave explorers to three different pods just by using this new interface. No EVA needed. We also added a button that when landed will take you straight back to the space center, for convenience's sake. Well then, back to the space center we go. Now for my favorite small feature, I'm using our physics damage tool to throw a tiny, hyper heavy object at the VAV. Doesn't go well for it. All buildings at KSC are now destructible, even those that may seem like they wouldn't be. We also accidentally took down the R&D. Sorry Werner, you're gonna have to be careful about where you drop those stages from now on. Now then, let's fix this. Back at the space center screen, we can try the new building menus. Ouch! Repairing buildings isn't precisely cheap. This is free in sandbox, but could be absolutely catastrophic in career. There are some pretty big plans for this system, by the way. This has been Miguel Piña from Squad, and I hope you enjoyed this update as much as we enjoyed making it.